1040 Eyes focus is in the area of water, health, and education. And you need all three of these elements for sustainability. You need to have safe drinking water. You need to have good health. And with safe drinking water and good health, then you can go on to be educated. And when you have education, this is one of the main ingredients in a person's life to help them dig out of poverty. And when they dig out of poverty, they have opportunities. The relationship that I have with 1040 IF, that helped me today, you know, to, to go to the nursing school. And after that, being a nurse today, being a nurse today, and that's a very important things that I can say about 1040 IF. This is the area uh, I came from. Climate is very hard here. It's very hard to find everything. Food, clothes, go to school, even to get water. Water availability in this area is really pretty tough. So a lot of the people go to streams or little ponds. One of the areas that we're working in with them with that is to provide filters. So they can take contaminated water and pass it through this filter and it provides pure drinking water. When Sansa was about three years old, his father brought him actually to our very first project. And Sansa's problem was that he had been burned. A boiling pot of water had toppled over on him and burned his foot and his foot fused to his leg the way he was picked up. And they performed a seven hour surgery. He brought in the maxillofacial surgeon and together they worked. They snipped tendons and ligaments and reattached and straightened out this little boy's foot. And he would spend the next six months convalescing. And then all of a sudden, Sansan could walk. Special in this area, you can find one school 10 kilometers around. What 1040 is doing here in this area and uh, in Ivory Coast is a big, a big, a great thing because where they are doing that, nobody will do, it, do that. The area that we're targeting is the most impoverished area of the country and has been during the 46 years that I have known this country. The, Development has been extremely slow, and I believe one of the reasons is that it's a hard area to gain access to. So therefore, it has remained terribly impoverished. And, but they're, the, they're still people. And because of our sensitivity and our love, and because we have personally been exposed to this area, there's no question in my mind that this is an area that has been targeted for 1040i. I'm living in Ivory Coast. I am an Ivorian. I have a parent. I have uncle. I have uncle and uh, a big family. But no one can be able to take care of us because it takes for someone like Mr. Kuzno. He came from the United States and he have a passion. Uh, he have a love. He have, uh, you know, uh, a vision. Yeah.